First of all, I would like to apologize for all the noise in the background. I live in Canada and uh, we're currently having an ice storm in the middle of April. So if you're hearing anything bang against the wind or something like that, that's just because we're having an ice storm in April, which, yeah, I'm not too happy about that. Anyway, my name is Victor Likes the Game, and uh, while I'm bringing you guys in a very, very important video today, we finally got some po official Pokemon Switch news. Um, from the official Nintendo magazine from Spain. Um, so if you're wondering why you can't read this magazine, that's why. But in this video, I'll be talking over what this article actually says, what it means for Pokemon Switch, and uh, um, if it's going to be Generation 8 or it's going to be a reboot, because uh, we already kind of know that. Um, anyway, be sure to smash the like button as it really helps out right now. Um, if you do not know why this helps out a lot more than it does in, than in the past, go check out my video I uploaded yesterday on uh, why my channel actually not, is no longer partnered. Um, so I really, guys, really need that support right now. Anyway, let's jump to these videos, shall we? So, as you can see in this magazine right here, you actually have a article on uh, Pokemon, uh, Metroid Prime, um, Project Octopath Traveler, Fire Emblem, Bayonetta, No More Heroes, Yoshi, and The World Ends With You. Um, so we don't really care about Metroid Prime or Bayonetta. Actually, I kind of care about Metroid Prime. I have not played Metroid in a long time, but, uh, because this is a Pokemon channel slash... Nino Kuni channel at the moment. <laughs> We're gonna be looking at the Pokemon article, and uh, well, uh, that pretty much some of this article what it what it translates to. I'll translate the whole thing in a second here. Um, it actually talks about how there's new game mechanics in the game, and that the Pokemon for the Nintendo Switch will actually be released either this year or later in 2019. Um, so that means there's like, a lot of things going on as well in the article that actually talks about how. Uh, there's gonna be new game mechanics involved in the game, and that it is Generation 8. So, what does that mean for us as Generation 8? Well, it means one of two things actually. It might mean that it's a reboot, or it might be, or it might mean that it's a completely new generation, like how Sun and Moon was a completely new generation. And when I mean reboot, it could be something like Pokemon Black and White, where the series gets reintroduced in a brand new way, and there's new Pokemon and so forth, or Something that kind of caught my attention this morning when I was uh, evaluating this magazine um, thing uh, image right here is that the Pikachu used above the Pokemon logo is actually the Pikachu from the very first generation. There's actually, I believe there's a first generation card with that, with that exact same Pikachu on it. And uh, this got me thinking. You know how we got that image a, few, uh, like a week ago or so about the uh, first official uh, or a supposed uh, leak image of Pokemon Switch and how that route kind of resembled something from Route um, from, I, forgot, I think it's Route 21 in Pokemon uh, uh, Red and Blue and so forth. Well, that got me thinking. The, uh, it's just Generation 8, but it might just be a reboot of the very first Pokemon games. Uh, Red, Blue, and Green and so forth. And what, uh, this, this very well could be a thing um, that they're working on because, well, if you think about it, if you reboot the Generation 1, but make it so there's more to do in the games and so forth. You're not only grabbing the audience from way back when Pokemon first came out, but you're also grabbing the audience from the, the players of today and the players of tomorrow. So you're grabbing a lot of audiences right there. And um, if you guys don't know, actually, Nintendo is set. Uh, they set a goal this year, or not a goal. They they they, they are estimating that they're going to sell about 20 million Nintendo Switch units this year alone. And for something like that to happen. A big title has to come out, and don't get me wrong, all the other titles are featured on this article right now, they're pretty big titles, but above all, Pokemon is by far the biggest title that uh, Nintendo has access to. The only way I can see 20 million units being pushed by Nintendo is by something like that happening, by them rebooting Generation 1. And I know there's so many of you guys saying, I'm so tired of Generation 1, blah blah blah, I don't like Kanto, but think about it. Think about how much they could add to Kanto to make it not just the Kanto we know from Fire Red, Leaf Green, Red, Blue, um, Green, Yellow, and so forth. They could, there's so much stuff they can add in there. They, could, they can expand these Sevi Islands there. They can make it so that there's a quest to go get Raikou in those Pokemon. There's, there's a quest to get Mew. There, the possibilities are endless. You can even add Deoxys in there if you really wanted to. Bring over some third generation. Because when you think about it, we are at Generation 7 right now. So that means... If you reboot Kanto, you can add all those Pokemon in there, and you can maybe have it so that you can go battle Deoxys in there. Um, there's a put it because you know how we got the Ultra Wormholes in these games. We can maybe have it so that you can travel with use Ultra Wormholes to travel to different uh, regions. 
I know that's very slim and the only way they probably do that is if you're able to travel to Dra Draenor region 2 so you'd have uh, the Jota region in there you'd have parts of the Jota region I don't really think they'd, uh, they'd have it so that you can travel to like, any other region through the ultra wormholes but think about the possibilities that are there right now because we already have of the generation 7 worth the Pokemon games so a counter reboot is very likely but now it is time to go into the second image here. It's actually the same image uh, that we saw in the first image there, but it's just a little bit more clear. But it pretty much roughly translates to, after a whole life associated with portable consoles, uh, the canonical side of Pokemon will jump to the table with its ace generation. Game Freak and the Pokemon company are rethinking this Sega to surprise with new mechanics, either in 2018 or later. So that's what it roughly translates to. It's actually a better translation than I got this morning. <laughs> um, but so yeah, so that's what, that's what I'm kind of thinking. Generation eight, generation eight may not mean that it's uh, it's literally like how Sun and Moon was a new generation or so forth. It may just mean generation eight is a reboot of something. Um, because honestly, kind of that Pikachu up there is getting. It doesn't make sense for them to use such an old Pikachu on there, especially because Pikachu is the mascot of Nint of Pokemon. So why would they use the old uh, sprite or? our image of Pikachu when they can use the new one we have now. Honestly, I love the older Pikachu, the way the older Pikachu looks. Uh, it looks more fierce and so forth. Now Pikachu just looks like he's an he's anorexic and, you know, he, he doesn't look as good. But anyway, that's, now we're going to talk about Pikachu here. So that's why I'm kind of thinking that Generation 8 mean, that may just mean that they're rebooting Kanto. Um, because if that image we did see earlier uh, this month, um, that supposedly got leaked, uh, it kind of looks like we'll be getting a Kanto reboot of some sort and I'm really hoping that the image we saw is a it was a very very early stage of what the Pokemon game looks like because honestly I know I, I even I don't even saw in that video there's a lot of you guys commenting saying I'm not liking how this looks it looks like something on a Citra emulator and so forth or that somebody's used the sprites from uh, X and Y and so forth I'm really hoping that it's not actually how the game's gonna look I'm really hoping that this is a really really early game um, image we saw there and I hope that since the game early and works anyway that's really all that there is for news today that's my speculation on this image on this article right here I'm really happy we finally got some actual information on this I don't know what do you guys think do you think it'll be generation 8 where it's completely new Pokemon 150, 150 or new more more Pokemon or will it be generation 8 but with a kick to it and they're actually rebooting something for the first time well not rebooting something but Remaking something for the first time, but it's not actually a remake of the game. It's more of a remake slash reboot You know what I mean? Let me know what you think about this. Honestly, I think it'll be a counter reboot Where uh, there's just more areas to explore and so forth and a lot more for you to do because well that just attracts so many audiences Then it attracts like I said earlier in this video it attracts your older players it attracts the players of now and it attracts the players of tomorrow because it's Pokemon if I had a kid, I would definitely tell them to go pick up some Pokemon. Um, so why not Why not try something out new here? And especially if you're playing long time with your kid and you're saying, Wow, man, I remember playing this way back when I was like 10 or something. That's just, that's just a win-win situation for Nintendo because when then Nintendo grabs the money from the parents to buy their kid a, a Nintendo Switch and the parent might even buy a Nintendo Switch because it's like, yo, man, I haven't played this game in like ages. It's been like 20 years since I last played the game. Let's try it out again. Anyway, those are just my thoughts on this, and uh, as always, thank you, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, peace, and see you guys then, and I uh, hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day.